Okay, had a little accident. Cut my finger pretty bad. You can see uh, it went pretty deep. The most important thing you want to do is uh, clean. Really wash extra well. I like using this stuff. It's a betadine, betadine solution. And then, of course, I was crying. Uh, you can't even get this anymore. This is like old um, iodine. The new stuff is this. It's the weak man's version. Anyway, um, I got it all cleaned and prepped, and uh, I could suture, but uh, I don't want to suture. I'm going to use Steri strips. I've got these uh, Steri strips here. I'll be using these. Ooh, blood and guts. There's more Steri strips. You want to make sure that you keep your wound ultra, ultra clean. You got to wash it, let it uh, bleed. My grandmother was an ER nurse and uh, she always said, let the wound bleed for a while. And I did that. The sink was a mess. Of course, it's all cleaned up now. But um, let it bleed. Let it get out any anything in there and then wash it super good. So I got Steri strips and I'm going to be applying those to this. It looks like it's pretty much stopped bleeding. And now we're just going to close up this gap. And then we're going to um, we're going to put some splints on my finger so I won't bend and reopen it. And we're going to keep that. You know, I'm going to check it every every eight hours, 24 hours, depending on how I feel. And we'll see how it goes. And I also have some uh, standby antibiotics in my med kit, which is always a good idea to do uh, to uh, just to ensure that you don't uh, get an infection settling in. One of the things you want to do is uh, use. Alcohol, you want to sterilize everything, your hands, anything that you're going to be using, scissors. You've got to make sure that everything is sterilized. Okay, so you can see these come pretty wide. They're about maybe three and a half inches wide. This is a 3M product. I've sterilized these scissors. I'm just going to cut them in half. And what I'll do is I'll gingerly pull one off. Don't ask me where you can get them because uh, I had a nurse give these to me. I'm going to start in the very center. And I'm going to, you want to make sure that this surface, by the way, on your skin is completely and totally dry. And I'm just going to pull it nice and tight. Oops. I'm going to give that a, I should have pushed that down a little harder first. I'm going to pull it tight. And there's my first closure. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing off to the side. I do the center of the wound first. That seems to be where most of the problem is. This one I'm going to do just because I'm having a bit of a problem with my my finger and I'm doing this all by myself. I can slightly bend and I can get a good pull on the skin. You can see now I can actually go and I can readdress this one. And you can see it wants to ooze a little bit more. So now that we got blood on it, that's kind of shot. So we're going to have to. That's plasma coming up right now. It's we need to let that dry really good. But you see how this one's pulling? And that's okay if you get a little wrinkle. You just want to have it really tight. You want to get a good closure. Now it, it's wanting to bleed a little bit just because of that other one we put on. So I'm going to apply a little bit of pressure again. It's already starting to close on us, so I'm going to put pressure on here and I'll be right back to you guys. Okay, we're back. Now, you saw before, I put this on this side and it sort of opened it up and made it start bleeding. I'm telling you, you got to be very careful not to agitate it. Theoretically, you should be doing this above your heart. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to attach that before it opens up again. And I'm going to push on it. We got good adhesion with the Steri strips. I'm going to take uh, some more.
You, get, you see where it's starting to ooze a little bit? That's because we're moving the wound around and where it started coagulating, it stopped. So we're just going to wait a little bit more, see if we can put a little bit more pressure on it. I'll be right back to you guys. I'll be doing this for about two or three minutes. I just want to show you where I'm applying the pressure. Wherever it's oozing, just very gentle pressure on it. Nothing major. Just to kind of help it coagulate and do it for two or three minutes. Okay, so we're back. Now you can see it stopped oozing. I'm going to put one more right here. Give it a really good connect. I'm going to pull it tight. Pull my finger a little bit. Now these stereo strips are, are pretty amazing. You can see that it's um, hold on. It's it's really pulled the wound closed. I'm going to put one more over here. Now I know you nurses and doctors are just shaking your head, going, "What the heck?" That's okay. I've done this before. I know my success rate. Now you see how it's starting to ooze again? That's okay. We're just going to put pressure on it. We're going to hold it. I'll be right back. Now you can see it's uh, closed up pretty good. This is the easy part. The tough part is to immobilize the finger and not bump it for at least 24 hours. Because as you could see before, if I just barely move the skin, it wants to open up and start bleeding again. So now I'm going to take some tape, I'm going to wrap it around both sides of these stereo strips here and here, and that's going to hold this in place, and then I'm going to put a piece of wood to immobilize my finger so I can't move it, and then I'll wrap it with gauze and pad. I'll be right back. Okay, I have cloth tape. I prefer cloth tape over paper tape. I just think it's better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my strips ahead of time. I cut them about five, six inches long. Okay, so you can see we're doing pretty good. We're not oozing. Just going to wrap that like this. Don't want to do it too tight to cut off the circulation. And you see right there, it's starting just that little bit has started to open it up and ooze a little bit. So again, we're going to apply pressure. And again, we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. You can see just a little bit of pressure on it stops the bleeding. You really got to be very careful because any movement just aggravates the wound. Now we're going to go over these stereo strips again, on the other side that is. And again, you don't want to cut off your circulation. You want to do it just tight. Now, see that? Just that little bit right there? We had a little bit of oozing. Not bad, just a little bit. So we're going to do it one more time in the area where it's oozing. It's a tiny bit of pressure. I like to hold for about a minute. Some people say three. I don't know, a minute just seems to work. Of course, I'm not doing it nearly a minute here because I'm just going to show you guys. So I'm going to go and get some gauze. I'm going to actually put some more pressure on there, and I'll be right back. 